Hi, this is your girl Sandra, aka Simply Love, and I'm here to do your mid month reading from the 15th to the 30th. Okay, apologize, I've been late, uh, but I had to bring my energy levels back up. You know, we're in the retrograde, and I have a bunch of readings, so I wanted to come back and refresh and all to, to, to do my readings. I used to just do everything all at once and over stress myself, but I learned to, you know, pace myself. So thank you for your patience and thank you for being here. And this uh, reading is going to be for the sign of Cancer. How are you Cancers doing? Welcome to my channel. Um, remember to hit me up on Instant Go. The link is below in the description. All you have to do is click on it. It'll take you right to my page and you can follow me just in case you have any type of, you know, quick questions or one question that you want to um, know about. I'll be able to respond to you right away. Okay. Um, if you'd like to have a full reading with me, just look below. You, you have my email address and my phone number. You can call me or email me or go to my website. That's listed below as well. So to begin the reading, I've, I've gotten all your emails, your requests for, to, for me to read intuitively, which I'm going to do for you today. And then I'm going to get into the cards here. Okay. I'm going to get into the cards. And then I'm going to, you know... Try to do as many as I can with another deck, okay? And then I'm going to end up giving you your uh, advice card from the um, uh, Whispers of Love deck, okay? So, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the sign of Cancer. So, let's begin. Wow, man. I don't know if it's me. I want you guys to hit the comment section on I'm talking about all you signs. Because I feel like everybody's getting this spiritual awakening. That's all I keep seeing is this bright light and it's beaming down on people. Like I said, we are in the fifth dimension. Um you can read up more on that, what what it means about the fifth dimension in the age of Aquarius, because it's effect is really affecting us as Aquarius, but it's affecting for it's for everybody. It was moving into a good time. People are starting to wake up, you know, and come out of the darkness into the light and being more spiritual. And uh, it's just been like this for each reading. I'm so happy about all of this. I really am. I'm feeling like a lot of you cancers um, been through a rough time. You know, um, you've been treading through muddy waters. Well, the mud is about to disappear for a lot of you. I'm feeling like a lot of you are going to meet someone or you already met someone that you really care about, you really connect with. This has been going on with each sign. It really has. But I'm just seeing these just... Like I've been seeing like just hearts like love, you know, like a new thing coming in for a lot of people. But you have to be on top of it to, you know, receive it. You're going to have to be in a spiritual way to, to see it. I feel like some of you have been or are band members or something. I'm hearing the word like playing in a band or some type of music that you do. Some play piano, guitar, or something like So A lot of you are, are, are some kind of mu mu musicians. Sorry for my musicians um, and some of you like to listen to music a lot it really you know amps you up it, it, um, it, it, um, you, it deals with your higher chakras when you listen to music and I'm hearing old school old school music old school okay continue to be that way because it helps you stay grounded and helps you to stay balanced okay but I am seeing a lot of spirit I'm seeing blessings um I'm seeing love here. Um, and I'm seeing I'm seeing um a lot of playfulness. Like, you know how like you know how we was when we was little, how we just like was carefree. We didn't we, we, we didn't really worry about the world because our mind wasn't developed to what was going on around us. All we had to do, we were like being led to things and what to say, what to do, what not to do. But this is like a, this is what I'm feeling like this relationship going to be like for a lot of you. It's going to be like a, a playful type thing. Like y'all going to have a lot of play, play, like little, like young kids, you're going to play a lot. Okay. 
you know, a lot of laughing, a lot of playing around, a lot of joking around. And, you know, it's just going to it's, it's going to make you feel balanced. This relationship is going to make you guys feel balanced. OK, Cancer, let's go ahead and get into the cards. Um, it's wonderful what I've been hearing through all the signs. Wow. After the after the storm comes the sun every time. <laughs> okay, what do we have? What messages do you have for sign of cancer? Is that one it is clarity card wanted to pop out, okay? Um like I said a lot of you've been going through muddy waters and stuff and you're coming out all off coming out of that to clarity. Seeing the truth, seeking the truth with inside yourself. What else want to pop out here? Yeah, that card keeps coming out, so I'm going to put it here. A lot of you came out of deception and lies and stuff like that, where somebody been lying to you all the time, constantly feeding you bullshit. You've come. I feel like some of you came to clarity with that. Some of you or somebody around you just um, very demanding and controlling, like very controlling, very out of control, I'd say, for some of you. And you got the Empress here, so I feel like some of you may have been married to this person. Got the Emperor and the Empress. That's two couples here, but uh, the Empress is in the upright and the Emperor's not. So this was like... This was some lying stuff going on, some cheating... Somebody not telling the truth, and it left somebody feeling like really not at their best. The Emperor Reverse is, you know, very manipulative and very um, cutthroat, okay? All right? So it could be some of you, like I said, could have been married, or some of you about to experience a soulmate connection or somebody from your past. Somebody you can... Remember when I was talking about, you know, in, intuitively about kids and stuff like playfulness? That's what I'm looking at. This is like, you you know, there's playfulness here with somebody. OK. Um, uh, the five of swords talking about conflict and deceit. Or a conflict of interest, okay? There could be two people that has a conflict of interest. They can't, just can't see eye to eye with one another, okay? We have the king of swords is in, it could be the king or the queen of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I'm picking up some, a lot of air energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is your energy here, okay? Where you're feeling nostalgic or somebody from the past or you've been with somebody since you were a child or for some of you it's going to be someone that from the past or someone that you feel connected with. Okay. And it's going to be turn out, you know, um, this is the completion card, the completion, being happy, you know, dreams coming true, the wish card, not really the wish card, but the wish card is the nine of this is the 10. This is the ultimate. This is the completion of a wish. It's like completed now. Okay. And with took temperance, you could be dealing with a cancer Pisces. This is your energy. So you're looking for completion in a marriage. Okay. With this person, maybe from the past or you've been with for a long time, or they just entered into your life for some of you. And uh, it's going to, you know, you tempered yourself. Could be with a Sagittarius. So, you know, there's temperance where you just like, put on this balance act um, and taking balance is bringing on new things, new love, uh, rekindled love for some of you. I feel like some of you may be rekindling with somebody that you were already with. Um, I don't see that for some of you that I'm reading for, for that part. I don't see where that's a bad thing because I feel like there's somebody fessing up or something from their lies and stuff that happened. I feel like they're, fessing up to that they may have suffered some karma as well but somebody's wanting something okay and the high priest is like I said is for some of you who are married or in some kind of contract or sought some kind of counseling for this situation it could have been with this king or queen of cups um, 
you know, expressing their love, coming be mature. They're really real about what they're solid. They're standing, they're sitting on solid, you know, rocks there. So they're solid about a relationship or a commitment or a marriage for some of you. Somebody standing strong on this love. And look, we got the king and queen of cups. Okay. So there's this is a two. I already talked about it. We already talked about it. we know what's up. Okay. A power couple there, a a couple that, you know, <laughs> that's going to be together forever, everlasting, new beginnings. And, you know, this is something new for some of you, like I talked earlier. Um, could be with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You're going to be very uh, blessed when it comes to finances. Things are looking on the up and up. Brand new for you, Cancers, okay? This is your energy, too. The, no, this is not. King or Queen of Swords, somebody coming up with some type of um, resolution, um, somebody standing their ground, somebody's giving ultimatums here, okay? Could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. It is, it is regarding love, okay? Got to make a choice. Make that move right now, baby. The angel is here blessing this union, okay? So it's all about choices. What do you want to do? New beginnings, okay? Starting all over again for some of you is with somebody from the past, okay? They're coming along being strong and stern about love, okay? Here's a power couple here, all right? And some of you could already be married to this person. Somebody may be coming back from uh, a, where y'all separated or something, and, and you know you're coming to completion. For some of you, it's going to be brand new. Some of you is somebody from your past that you were in some type of conflict with. And here we go with the happy home, you know, forming a uh, solid foundation. Okay, let me stop there with that and go on to the next cards. Woo! See a lot of the same thing falling out here, you guys. <laughs> they didn't give me time to shuffle that well okay okay we got the yeah again the queen of swords popping up again that ultimatum about a firm foundation a happy home okay and then we got the nine of swords where somebody's you know playing somebody's head's all messed up you know they thinking about all kind of crazy stuff okay or this person may be crazy they're, they're listening to a bunch of bull crap. You see them goblins up there? Look at that. It ain't real. They fake. Who, who looks like? Who anybody? Hit the comment section. Tell me if you've seen some people look like that. So that's somebody's figment, uh, figment of their imagination. They're over-exaggerating in their head. So somebody had to make a choice. Somebody had to go in this third-party situation for some of you. Somebody had to go. You know, somebody had to get... They had to get hurt, and there's another couple there that they decided somebody had to go with the Three of Swords, okay? That is some type of heartbreak somebody suffered, okay? Page of Wands, somebody's coming through with a message, okay? And it's exciting. Whatever this message is, exciting, okay? And it takes somebody's going to have to walk away from an um, emotional situation. And this is your energy, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And um, the Eight of Wands is like you're moving away, okay? You're moving, you're going somewhere else. You're moving away from this situation. There's two cards of moving away. Travel, moving and traveling. Some of you may be making an actual move, okay? Maybe that's what the message is, the good message is coming. Uh, a, a relocation for some of you. We got the Five of Cups where I feel like, I mean, yeah, the Five of Swords. I'm sorry, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra's energy where I feel like there's, and that came up, I believe, in the other part too. It's like a no-win situation here. There's no compromise. Somebody has always got to have the upper hand, feel like they're bigger and better than you are, or, you know, or wanting to be in control of a situation. Um, but, Here's the two of cups, you guys, okay? This is an angel bringing you what you want, a soulmate connection. I told y'all, I told you, soulmate connection here coming. The angel is bringing it to you. You are willing it to yourself. And with temperance, that brings on, you know, promises, okay, and balance. 
Some of you dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay, some of you could be dealing with your own energy. Somebody of your own self, sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. So that was really great. Things are going to be looking on the up and up. Cancer, that is wonderful. It's just like going on with all the signs. I, I feel great <laughs> uh, regarding these readings because, like, I, I, I'm not really shocked, but it's just never happened like this before where every sign is like really coming to some of you or coming to see the light. Look at your uh, patterns and relationships, uh, Cancer. Look at your pattern. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. So there needs to be some type of an adjustment here uh, before your soulmate comes along. Your soulmate is coming along. You're going to have to be ready for it, Cancer. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed your reading. If any of this resonated with you, please leave it so in the comment section. I love to hear from you guys. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Um, and join my channel if you like. Just hit the subscribe button and right down Next to it, there's a little bell for notifications. It'll let you know when all my videos come out, when I have specials, when I have giveaways, all that kind of stuff, okay? I'm always doing something. So um, stay connected, please, if you're, um, if you're, uh, if you're subscribed. Oh, my God. <laughs> so that's going to be it for now, and I will talk to you guys in um, May. The winter time is May. It's cold outside, okay? April is cold. May may be cold, too. Bring on the sun. <laughs> you guys have a good one.